Welcome back to Mountain Moving Press. Today we shall look at a quick, fun and easy way to understand the meaning of blessings. And then we will let the attributes of the word blessings be made effective in our lives during this year 2023. May this year be your year of blessings as we go through this process. So let's start right away. Let the first letter in the word blessings inspire us to be merciful. Mercy is the nature of God. Many schools of philosophy and theology describe God as the eternal bliss or the fullness of joy. The ability of God to be in a state of eternal bliss or fullness of joy is due to his merciful nature. So if we wish to cross over from our griefs and sorrows to a life of unending bliss and joy then we must earnestly consider embracing the divine path of mercy let this need of us to live a blissful and joyful life inspire us to be merciful in this year 2023 let the second letter in the word blessings inspire us to let the grace of god give us new life the biblical narrative of creation in the book of genesis shows how god created all things by his word and then when he formed man from the soil of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life man became a living being this portrayal of god's free and undeserved favor in the life of humans and the unmerited divine assistance given to us for our regeneration sanctification and salvation can be called as the grace of god it is the grace of god that gives us new life new hope and the new zeal to make progress in life the grace of god is also the spiritual ingredient we need to fill ourselves with if we wish to conquer sufferings and tragedies in life a lifestyle of mercy opens our eyes and hearts to see the beauty and the value of god's grace and when we find value in god's grace and recognize that there is absolute no substitute for god's grace we then find new inspiration to let the grace of god give us new life in 2023 let the third letter in blessings inspire you to expect answers to your prayers every book on prayer will say that the green signal to receive answers to prayer is mercy and god's grace in fact jesus teaches that when you pray first forgive so that you will be forgiven and transported to a spiritual state where your prayers can be quickly and easily answered so if you already have mercy and grace then what is it that can be an obstacle to receive the answer to your prayers we know that a good majority of people pray but very few receive answer to their prayers the foremost block is unforgiveness and the second block is lack of faith This means even while having mercy and grace yet if you lack faith your prayers are not going to avail much Yes you might see results once in a while but most often prayers wouldn't produce much positive results Hence you go tired in praying and you end up asking regretfully how long or how much should i be praying so the key to answered prayers is a heart that expects to receive answers and results from prayer so once you have decided to be merciful and let god's grace give you new life the next step is to value yourself and your prayers and always pray with a positive expectation So to enjoy the blessed life in 2023 start expecting answers to your prayers 
Let the fourth letter in the word blessings inspire us to serve others with whatever gift and talent God has given us. If necessity and imagination are essential to invention and innovation, then the power behind all of them is faith. For it is faith that gives humans the power to recognize the inner skill, talent and potential that each one of us has within ourselves. Faith therefore not only helps us to get the best from God, but it also helps us to get the best out of ourselves. Faith is the substance that develops an infant into a great personality. Faith transforms the ordinary into extraordinary and the natural into supernatural. Let this faith keep working in us progressively and make us aware of the inner potential within us. Empowered with this awareness and our ability to get things done through prayer, let us be inspired to serve others with whatever gift and talent that God has given us. Let the fifth letter in the word blessings inspire us to speak the truth and speak words of life. Have you heard Jesus saying, I am the way and the truth and the life? This shows the interconnection between truth and life. So if we are speaking the truth, we are speaking life. And when we speak words of life, we end up upholding the truth. There is great power in our tongue and the words that we speak. In fact, our words have the power to kill or to give life. Sirach chapter 28 verse 18 says, Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not as many as have fallen because of the tongue. In a world that is already going through such a lot of suffering, there is an urgent need for the children of God to speak words of truth and life. So, for our enjoying of the blessed life and for granting the enjoying of the same blessed life to others, let us use our hearts and mouths to speak words of truth and life in this year 2023. Let the sixth letter in the word blessings inspire us to impart the knowledge of God to others. In fact, as elders or parents in the family, it is our duty to impart the knowledge of God to our children, family members and to anyone whom God wants us to testify and bear witness about God and His kingdom as revealed through the person and the teachings of Jesus Christ. God sent His Son Jesus to tell us that we are the children of God and to enlighten us about the forgiveness of sins and the fullness of life that we have in Christ. Therefore, we have an obligation to tell others that they also are the children of God and have the privilege of getting their sins forgiven and enjoy the fullness of life as a free gift through faith in the atonement of Christ. The knowledge of what God has accomplished for the salvation of humankind through Jesus Christ is the greatest information and knowledge that humankind has been praying and meditating for a long time. Now that we know the truth that there is no other name under heaven given among mortals through which we will be saved, it is a matter of great blessing for us to become instruments for imparting this knowledge of God and His salvation to people around us in 2023. Let the seventh letter in the word blessings inspire us to never forget the good done to us. Life is beautiful because of its ups and downs. If there were no twists and turns in this journey, then life would have been such an insipid and boring experience. If there were no rising and falling, there would have been neither glory nor a sense of achievement in life. If every day was a Sunday, 
then there would have been nothing special about sunday and if every day was a holiday human kind would not have made any progress in the midst of these variety of life experiences there are those special people who create those special moments by extending great help support and appreciation during our time of need we need to remember those good samaritans one of the joys of life is to once in a while go back into the past and see the face of the people who stood by our side in our most difficult moments aren't those people who helped us tragedies into triumph or those who pulled us out of great crisis or distress something special to remember and cherish it is such people and the memories they create that gives us not only joy but also the hope to go ahead in life with an attitude of goodness and gratitude let the eighth letter in the word blessings inspire us to give thanks for everything now please note that giving thanks for good incidents outcomes and memories is one thing and giving thanks for everything is another we normally don't give thanks to our fellow humans for negative experiences or outcomes because we are not sure of the real intention in the human heart but that is not the case with god we know that god is love and he is faithful in all his dealings it is this divine nature of the god that helps us to discern and recognize the truth that even behind negative realities god is working out a positive result so giving thanks for everything is something reserved exclusively for god the more we use our time and energy to know god the more easily we will be convinced of our need to give thanks for everything let us therefore look beyond the seasons of depression and oppression failure and defeat rejection and injustice let us shift our focus from those individuals and institutions causing the negative experiences and look at the hand of god at work in our lives and give thanks for everything let the ninth letter in the word blessings inspire us to see the love that god has for us god alone is holy and god alone is pure because he raises his son and sends his blessings upon both the good and the wicked it is god's holiness that he gives the gift of life to both the evil and the righteous when we love god and we notice this love that god has for us our lives will also undergo transformation because whatever the child sees the parent doing the child also desires to do likewise so let us be inspired by looking at the divinity of god and pay close attention to his works in nature and see the love that god has for all when we see him loving everyone equally we can recognize him as the god who is love let us therefore purify our hearts and minds and enjoy the blessed life by seeing the love that god has for all i wish and pray that this reflection on each letter of the word blessings become an instrument and an inspiration for the year 2023 to be a year of blessings have a great day and year ahead god bless you